Purchasing policy and procedures. This has been extremely confusing. We've had a lot of emails about it and stuff, and a lot of there was there was confusion on the website. There was confusion of what it was, and also we voted. We took a vote to our vote was to not to approve a new purchasing policy, but to. Actually, to reinforce what we had done. Right. Yeah, that's what about I, it. Let's do this right now. Let's clear it up, make sure it's absolutely clear, it's absolutely precise. And the fact is that no bids over, nothing over $15,000 has been signed off without coming before. No, we're very fastidious about that. Okay. It, it, it is, and I think maybe some, where some of the confusion is, is that proper bids that are received within the policy that are in excess of 15000 but less than 50000 don't come to the board. They're just awarded, provided they meet all the requirements of the policy. It's when something doesn't meet the requirements of the policy, it has to come to the board, or if there's a question about the bid, it has to come to the board. So that's, I think, where the $50,000 figure comes from, that that's the maximum ceiling that I can sign a contract for if it complies with everything in the ordinance. The way it's always been. That's the way it's always been. It's always that been. That has not been a change. That's never been changed. All right. Okay. I did propose some changes to this particular provision, which is is in red in your in your your policy here. Um, the process uh, for purchases that equal or exceed fifteen thousand dollars. I tried to put something into effect that people would understand on the operational end of things so that we would stop having some problems in those areas. And so I palabered on, actually, in, 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 in putting this together. Um, there are clarifications in here about what you have to do. Um, purchases that fall in this category are required to be either bid or a, uh, or a proposal under the purchasing policy of the town. And bids and proposals are different things because they deal sometimes with federal contracts and, and state requirements. Um, the following is clarification of the process to be used in accomplishing that task. This clarification is mandatory unless waived by vote of the Board of Selectmen. Items ex uh, excluded from this clarification. Items that are purchased via state or federal bids and single source purchases expenditures for legal matters and matters dealing with requests for qualifications are excluded from this policy clarification, as are any items waived by vote of the Board of Selectmen, or items that are specifically voted under a town meeting warrant article that directs that a specific vendor be used for a specific purchase. Those using state and federal bids for purchases in lieu of bidding must attach a copy of the portion of the entire state and federal document that specifically authorizes a town to participate in the state or federal bid. These documents must accompany your purchase requisition for the board approval of the purchase. Uh, in the case of the sole source supplier, you must document the sole source in writing so as to demonstrate your inability to obtain the items from any other supplier. The process to be followed by departments. Departments, boards, committees, and commissions wishing to purchase goods, materials, equipment, or other items, the estimated cost of which is $15,000 or more, and which requires a bidder proposal shall contact the administrative assistant as re, uh, for required formats prior to preparing written documents that conform with the purchasing policy. Once draft bids for proposals have been completed, they are to be forwarded both electronically and in non-PDF format and in hard copy to the administrative assistant in the town manager's office. Accompanying the draft documents will be a list of 10 prospective bidders, if possible, prepared uh, by the bidding entity together with the address mailing envelopes and other prospective bidders. Draft bids or proposals received will be reviewed for compliance with the purchasing policy and then referred to town council for legal review. Upon completion of the final review, the administrative assistant will mail the bids or proposals to the designated prospective bidders and forward the PDF copy to the bidding entity. The document will not be changed at this stage without permission in writing from the administrative assistant and town council. Once mailed, the bids or proposals will be added to the town's website for public viewing and other for and other prospective bidders. That's what we added to the policy, okay. nothing else. 
and we did not change anything else. We did not change anything else, but I am going to make a suggestion to the board. We talked about this today in, in staff. Uh, that in fact we provide within the policy a definition of what a waiver is okay. because that's not there okay. and with your permission we're going to draft that we're going to bring that to the next meeting we ask that you adopt this and at the next meeting we're going to put in a requirement to define what a waiver is and how it operates okay and we will vote on it at the next meeting, at the next meeting on the waiver questions I have no questions Rusty no questions Mr. Bean negative sir Mr. good all right, then we're going to be totally clear on this, and that's good. This is it. This is the end of it. We're never going to talk about it again, I hope. So we need to vote on this, this tonight, or are we waiting for the... My suggestion is you go ahead and vote on this tonight. We'll amend it next next meeting with the waiver policy to be included within the document. I'll make the motion, that, that motion. I'll second it. <clears throat> All in favor? Opposed? Unanimous. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.